First Lady Stokes, if you would come and read the burdens of our prophets at this time. Burden of the prophet, prophetess. Prophetess Anita Roundtree burden. As a prophetess, I feel that a burden is given to help identify and understand what is on God's heart. Oftentimes it comes because there is a great need for within the body of Christ. I've come into having a burden and a strong compassion for seeing the people of God healed. I can feel the grief of the Lord over the fact that of many not being healed physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. I look at Elijah and how he was used to effectively walk to the gift of healing. I have a hunger to see people healed by the power of God. I also believe that praying and interceding on behalf of the body will begin to activate the process by which the Spirit of the Lord can move freely and heal at whole a new level. <laughs> None like the church has ever seen. There are so many sick among us that have not been able to reach because of the lack of prayer and failure to create the right atmosphere conducive to the Spirit to move. As a burden bearer of healing, my ultimate compassion is to create that space within the body and to be the mouthpiece of God so that he may move through me to heal everyone that I come in contact with. To travel with the Lord and pray that someone will receive the power of healing. I've experienced firsthand the power of God to heal my own life. Then in turn has created another level of faith believing that he can heal others. Healing is not just given because God freely because it's another reason that why Christ died. It excites me to understand that he is willing to extend healing and that it is on his heart. I know that I am merely the vessel for which the Holy Ghost will flow through. I believe that a big part of the burden also means that I will give encouragement which raises the faith of the person God wants to heal. That in turn has opened the portal for the Holy Ghost to come in and begin the healing work. God knows that we are faithful because your work declares that by your stripes we are healed. I am amazed also that the fact of healing becomes contagious, I have seen like a wildfire. Yeah. Once a person is healed, it affects not only them, but those who connected to them. Seeing someone healed from a drug addiction, for example, raises the faith level of someone who's still struggling and again opens another portal for the Holy Ghost to begin healing. Acts 5 and 16 speaks of multiple that gather in Jerusalem being sick and those tormented by unclean spirit and they are, were all healed. The same healing power back then still remains the same today. Amen. For Prophetess Kamitra Kim Wilson Burton, I deeply desire to help and see children of God released from the prison of somebody else's negative influence, treatment, judgment, and opinions. Many live with life with this weakness of mind and attitude towards our identity in Christ and destiny to help them grow and keep growing, to flourish and to transform who God created specifically for each individual to be. Many think that they are bound, crippled and weak. These mental disabilities or prisons of deception keep my brothers and sisters in Christ from walking and being confident in the truth. There is so much potential that he placed within that Satan has kept bound. So what I want more than anything for the body of Christ is that the potential be unleashed so that they can become the person that they are created to be. Amen. And the burden of the prophet Josh Roundtree burden, deliverance, yes. the act of being rescued or set free, yes. liberation. Yes. I feel that this is my burden because I have a strong desire to see people set free from bondage, yes. strongholds, demonic oppression, and being in a stagnant place not being able to reach another level in their mindset, but also in God. I want to be able to expose the cause of it, the root, so that they no longer have to live with it. God wants to see his people set free and living life at full potential so their call and purpose can be done upon the earth. A lot of them cannot explain what is going on or why they're even the way they are. I have experienced what breaking a generational curse can do. Deliverance from what that has opened my eyes and allowed me to reach other levels. Yeah. God wants us to be delivered and set free because it was never his will or his purpose for us to become captives. I want God to use me in the flow of ministry 
not only in laying on of hand, but also to teach people of God to recognize when deliverance is needed. 